Hello guys, welcome to Very Smart Budgeting. On today's video, we will be cash stuffing $860, which will be going to my everyday binder, sinking funds, and definitely my 100 envelope savings challenge, which I'm always very excited about. So on this channel, we talk about faith, finances, and budgets, and everything in between. So if that's something that you're interested in, why don't you go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned. Hello guys, so welcome or welcome back. So I already have set out my budget here, so I'm just gonna go straight to it because everything that I need to um, fund in my categories have already been um, indicated here. So I'm gonna go according to everything that I have already written. So guys, what I normally do is, and I know everybody works differently, obviously, so I'm trying to work, on um, trying to find like the best method on doing what I do. Again, I still haven't reached that um, place where I'm able to budget a month ahead. I'm really trying to do that. Um, but in the meantime, what I've been doing is I'll make the budget for two weeks in advance. So, um, and that's because my payroll is every two weeks. So with that being said, um, that's what I've been doing. I've been just um, writing down my budget two weeks prior. So this way I know exactly, you know, where my money's going and so forth and so on. So this is what I'm working with. So I'm going to go according to everything that's indicated here. And I have it all in the order of my binders. So I'm going to put this to the side and let's just go ahead and count the money okay so we're gonna put this right here so we can count the money and make sure that we have eight hundred and sixty dollars and let me just go ahead and staple this i always keep all of my receipts i am I, I still have like my receipt from when i first started the cash stuffing system <laughs> i am okay so let's just make sure that we have eight hundred and sixty dollars we're gonna go ahead and start with the big bills so we have one two three three hundred one hundred two hundred three hundred one two three four five one two three four one two three four five that's 120 40 60 80 so we have 180, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, that gives us a total of $860. So we'll put this here. We'll keep this on the side. Actually, I'll keep this here, the money on the right side. Okay, hopefully you guys can see it. I'll put this over here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with my everyday binder, which is my home binder here. And we're going to go ahead and fund the grocery account. We do have to go shopping, food shopping today actually. Um, So we're gonna go ahead and add $150 for groceries. So how are you guys doing? Can you believe that it's already like the middle of the year? Like we're literally going into June. It's so crazy because it's really, it went by super, super fast. I'm just like, wow, um, this year just really just flew by. I am. Um, what are your plans for the summer? Like what are you guys going to be doing? I know I'll be working. So that's pretty much what I'll be doing. Um, yeah. Okay, so for transportation, we are going to add a hundred dollars for transportation. It's like it's it's unbelievable because like literally in six months it's gonna be Christmas. Like, can y'all even believe that? Which is why I started my holiday binder because I am like I want to be prepared for when the holidays are here. You know, so yeah so crazy okay for dining out which is really for lunch it's going to be a hundred dollars so we're gonna add a hundred did i do my 
Normally, I even include the denominations and what, how I want to add what, but I can't remember if I did that, so it's okay. I am so for the lunch. We're gonna go ahead and just put in the date, and just to keep track right of my budget, I'm just adding this. So sometimes it just helps. It just helps to keep track of it. Okay, so for car insurance, so guess what? It's 85, I believe this is 85, 20, 40, 60, 85. So that money was already paid out to my insurance for the month of May. So this will be the same exact amount for the month of June. So we're just gonna leave this 85. This will just be indicative of the amount that I'm adding every month. And that's already been um, budgeted and factored into my, into my money. So it's not here because I keep that money in the bank. So I'm just gonna leave that $85 there. Okay, for beauty, um, we are going to just add $5 for beauty. Okay, so let me also just indicate that here, $5 to this date. Beauty is going to get $5, leaving a balance of five, right? Okay. And then for clothing, do we have anything for clothing? Should we have money for clothing? Yeah, awesome. And I just bought a couple of blouses on Friday. <laughs> so, I mean, not Friday, on Thursday. So, I had a little extra cash on my bank account. So, that's why I did that. All right. So, $20 is going here for clothing. So, to this date. And $20. Okay. So that pretty much finishes this binder. Um, it's pretty easy, right? Like this is just, like I said, my everyday binder for my everyday expenses. Um, so we are good with that. So let me just cross out here everything that I um, just funded. So we did groceries, transportation, lunch, car insurance, beauty, and clothing. Now we're going to move over to the kids binder, which is this one here. So this one is for Hannah. So Hannah today will be getting $10. So we're going to put that in, $10. And let me just write this in really quickly. Hannah. And it's $10. Okay. And y'all already know that's like just really pocket money for her, right? Like just for like, Hannah loves to go to either like Five Below or Dollar Tree, mostly Dollar Tree. And she always finds some cute things that she always wants to buy. Um, For Jacob, it's also going to be $10 as well. Um, Jacob gets an allowance. So this is not really his allowance. This is just me like putting pocket money in because Jacob is always asking for money. Um, Even though he makes his own money. That boy is 13 and he makes his own money. He does. Um, okay, so today's day, Jacob, and that'll be $10. Okay, $10. And then we have here the back to school. And back to school will receive $5 today. And we have, we have 100. So now we have 105 for back to school. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put today's day back to school five dollars and brings the balance now to 105 and that closes out the kids binder okay so let me now just cross out what i just did hannah jacob back to school and now we're gonna do the challenges okay so these are the mini challenge not necessarily mini, but somewhat kind of mini, smaller, medium. I don't know what you want to call them, but these are the challenges I am working with. So for this one specifically, this one here is the $500 savings challenge. This is what I have saved so far. And today we will be adding $50, 5, 10, 15, 20, which equals 50. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a 50. And so, guys, I don't know if you watched my last video, but what I ended up doing was all the money that I've been stacking up for savings. I went and I added it to my money market account so it could start building interest. Um, so this is what's already in the bank. Um, 100, 200, 350. And now with this 50, that's going to make it $400. 
for this specific um, saving. So we're going to go ahead and cross this out. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, guys, can you see that? Yep, so I crossed out 5, 10, 15, 20. And what I am going to do is add today's date because I like to keep track on when I added what. So I only have $100 left for this um, $500 savings, right? So we got 400 right now. Okay, and then for this one, this is the breakfast menu. So for this one, there's only $20 left to fulfill to complete this one. So we're going to go ahead and add the 20. Same thing. I added everything that was in this binder to the money market account. And this is what I have in the bank now. I have 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars. And we're going to add 20, which makes it now a hundred dollars. So this one is completed. This one is a fully funded challenge. Yay! Super excited about that. So I was able to complete the breakfast menu challenge. There you go. It's completed the breakfast menu. Okay, so moving along, then we have the tea time. So for tea time, let's see how much money we have for tea time. Again, this money's in the money market account. I have $105. So today we are going to be adding $20. So we're going to go ahead and cross out the 20 here. Sorry, guys. Okay, we're going to cross out the 20. For this one, we still need 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, um, 60. So we still need $80 to finish out the tea time challenge. Um, so we're going to add this 20 here. And I think I'll leave this money here. I won't take this to the bank. And then I think when I finish out the rest, then I'll deposit that into um, my money market account. Um, okay. And then last but not least is the honey money challenge, which I've been saving $45. Each honey pot is $45. So um, we're going to cross out for today, 45. And let's just go ahead and put 45. $45 into this one. And this one is a $540 challenge. Um, so let's see, where am I at with that? So I've saved so far 100, 200, 315. And we are now adding $45. Which is three hundred and sixty dollars, right? And to finish out this challenge, let's see. Um, so that's three sixty. So we need forty-five times four. We need one hundred and eighty dollars, right? And then plus the three sixty would make it five hundred and forty. There you go. Okay. I'm um, moving along. So for air travel today, we are going to be adding. $20. So air travel gets $20. Let's see how much I have now for air travel. 20, 40, 60, 80. I have $100 for air travel. So let's just go ahead and make sure to indicate that here. Air travel. Okay, and that's 20. And now the balance is $100. Okay. Okay, so for health, are we adding anything for health today? No, we are not um, for emergency. Um, so for emergency money, this is what I do have. A thousand, eleven, twelve. So I have twelve hundred for emergency. And that's also put away in the bank. And we definitely want to continue to fund that. But because I'm trying to eliminate the debts that I have, um, I just have one really big debt. It's a student loan and then one other small um loan and that one more than likely is going to get paid before the year is over and i can't wait to take care of that um okay so this bind is pretty much done so what we're going to do is once again we are going to cross out what we have already done we did the 500 dollar challenge we added money to breakfast time um the breakfast menu tea time honey money air travel and now we're going to go ahead and move to 
the sinking funds here also known as my holiday binder okay so for spending money oh my god i can't believe i gave myself spending money yay fifty dollars a whole 50 a whole five zero like i have a whole grant <laughs> okay so fifty dollars is going to spending yay okay um mother's day already passed um i got my mom a gift i was able to send that to her she was really happy about it okay so for birthdays we are going to be adding ten dollars let's see and we only have ten in there okay um so we adding ten and that's for birthdays and then for father's day we are going to be adding twenty five dollars and let's see how much we have here so we have 25 25 so we have 50 okay so we have 50 dollars for father's day okay and for harvest time aka thanksgiving is going to be getting 30 dollars okay and i think we also have yep 30 so now we have 60 dollars 40 50 and 60 dollars okay there you go and then of course christmas is getting 65 dollars so let's do 50 60 65 dollars and let's see where we are at we have 40 60 65 um so that should be 130 dollars 50 60 70 80 90 okay 60 and 50 50 plus 60 is 110 120 125 and 130 Woohoo! Okay, so we have 130 so far for Christmas. My gosh, Christmas is creeping. It's creeping up. Um, but I'm happy that I'm able to start saving now. Okay. I am so let's see. And then for my birthday, my birthday is going to be getting $22. One, two. Okay, and I think I have 20. Yeah, 22. So now we have 44. So we have 20, 40, 41, 42, 43. Forty-four dollars for my birthday. Okay, and I think that's it for sinking funds here. Um, so we are all done with stuffing our. Okay, guys. So now that we took care of spending birthdays, Father's Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and my birthday, and we did. Oh, okay. So we have to do the one hundred envelope challenge. Like my only thing is that. I do need to make change because I ended up adding the bigger bills. Um, actually, no, I need to make an exchange here. Um, so let me see how I can do that. Um, because I kind of need like the 20s right now. Do I have 20s? It doesn't look like I have 20s. Um, let's see. This one here. Um... Okay, so I think for spending money, no, there's a 50 there um, for birthdays. Yep, let's see. Birthdays is, nope, that's the tens. Maybe this one. Um, how much we have here? We have 20, 40, 45, 50. So we're going to just switch that off and put this here because I kind of need um, any change so I can do what I need to do. Okay, perfect. Yep, that's what it was. I was supposed to add the $50 here because I want to make sure that I'm able to add now to my 100 envelope challenge because I'm adding today just $98. So we're going to get our envelope for $98, which is right here. So again, we're adding $98. So we have $50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98. So we have five dollars left. Okay, so 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, um, 95, 96, 97, 98. Okay, beautiful. So this is what we are adding to the 
100 envelope challenge i'm so excited about this oh my goodness i still have like a long way to go but guess what i'm almost there right as you can see what i already have so i'm almost there so we're gonna go ahead and cross out um 98 let me close this really good which is which one's 98 98 is right here there you go perfect so i still have all of these here oh my goodness but look look everything i've already done so i'm excited about that part okay cool so guys we're done with cash stopping funding our accounts is done and we have five dollars left so here's the thing i have my triple play the monthly one that i normally do i'm definitely not going to be able to fill in all three i mean we're still in the month of may so i still have another um what two weeks left to um, finish out may i didn't even get to do march i am um, so what we'll do is we'll roll the dice to see that hopefully it'll be less than five and then i can add that to um the we'll add that to the triple play to the triple play um envelope right i think we have a couple of dollars in here too from last time yep okay cool so let's see if we roll and we get less than a five y'all we need to get less than a five if not we're gonna have to roll again all right so let's see we're going to roll the dice we're gonna do this one here okay four dollars yay so what we're gonna do we're gonna add the five right um i mean i could no yeah i was gonna say i could just make change but let's just add the five and that's it okay so there you have it oh i'm happy about that i was able to take care of the triple play also okay so that um we rolled a number four okay so we took care of that one so the triple play monthly challenge well one of them i completed and i think on my next video then i'll definitely aim to complete both of these which will be the weather you either add like if it's 70 degrees and you add 75 7 plus 5 and you add that amount um or 75 depending on your income whether it's a low income or higher income right and then your the date whatever the date is so in my case the next time that i'll be cash stuffing more than likely is going to be on the 31st so it'll be like either 31 dollars you put away or three plus one which is four dollars so whichever one is is work is going to work for you but with that being said, I am done. I'm super happy that I was able to finish this, take care of it. I always look forward to just um, sharing with you my financial journey. I'm super, super excited that I'm closely, like I'm slowly but surely getting there. Slowly but surely I'm getting there when it pertains to my financial goals, saving the money so I could come out of debt. Um, so it's a journey. It's definitely a journey, but I'm excited to be in it, right? It's better to be in it than not even have started at all. Um, so with that being said, thank you to all of my subscribers. I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so, so much for your, your comments, your feedbacks, things that you share with me. I truly, truly appreciate it. And listen, if you've been watching this far and you literally watched to the end, go ahead and drop me a heart just to let me know that you watched it to the very end. And if you haven't joined um, my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And why don't you like and share as well? Thank you so much for connecting. And until next time, this was Baby Smart Budgeting. Bye-bye.